I just wanted to encourage you with this scripture that um, I read literally minutes, hours before I went and had my double lung transplant. It talks about Thanksgiving. Philippians 4, it says this, it says, Do not be anxious or worried about anything, but in everything, every circumstance and situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, continue to make your specific requests known to God, and the peace of God, that peace which, which uh, reassures the heart, that peace which transcends all understanding, that peace which stands guard over your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus is yours. I just wanted to encourage you about the power of thanksgiving, the, the victory that's in praising God from a bird's eye view of victory, knowing that you are the victor and you thank God in advance. Faith, the highest level of faith is praising Him, praising Him from a place of victory. And I remember, I remember right before my transplant, some of the things that I did was, was I was worshiping and I was praising God and I was, I was thanking Him for the victory before I saw the victory. And there's so many people, we're all going through different things, different stuff. Thanksgiving is your victory that, that will give God a legal right to act on your behalf and you thank God. And the kind of thing that I did right before my transplant was just like going, thank you, Father. Thank you that you're for me. You're not against me. Thank you that you love me. When I was yet a sinner, Jesus died for me. And I remember just um, when I had the surgery after, I remember my, my lungs. It was hard to breathe. It was like 2 in the morning. And I remember panic trying to come on me, but it wasn't in me. But it was trying to come on me, and I remember um, texting my husband, and he came, or yeah, and he came to the hospital at like three in the morning. And all he did is he didn't give me his opinion, he didn't give me his sympathy. But what I told him, as I was barely able to breathe, there was so much um, inflammation in my lungs after the surgery. It felt like I had my old lungs. It was so congested, full of blood, inflammation. And I said to my husband, "I don't need you to say anything." What I need you to do is I handed him my phone and I said, I need you to read these scriptures. And I had, and it's important to have an artillery of scriptures for those times when it's hard and to, to read them. And, and that's exactly what I did is I had him read these scriptures, this exact scripture that I just read you in Philippians and other scriptures like it, talking about how much God cares for me and how he's with me. And in the midst of the most trial, trialy, um, fiery trial, um, I was able to get my mind on Jesus and when our eyes are on him then everything else kind of subsides all the the bigness of the problem subsides when you look to the bigness of God that's when the situation seems small so I just want to encourage you today with that to worship God and to thank him for what he's already done because faith is the victory that overcomes the world and when we thank him in the very midst of the darkest hour that is the highest level of faith when you are in the darkest hour and you praise him no matter what because you know that you know that he's good and he's so good he's already sent his son over 2,000 years ago to die for us that's the plumb line of his love for us